After eating, let's go for a walk and burn some calories. Unlike other Irish towns where everything closed at 5 p.m., Clanny is actually pretty special. The shops are open, streets are lively, and free concerts are everywhere late into the night. And most important, lots of beautiful and single Irish ladies you can practice pickup skills. Uh, so good luck. If that's not your interest, no worries. <laughs> There's no doubt you'll be able to find something to entertain yourself with, uh, even without the need to drink. <laughs> Once again, if you need to clear up some skeleton in your closet and needed to confess any sins, no. Uh, you don't need to look far. The St. Mary's Cathedral is centrally located nearby the town center. Commissioned in 1840 by a local fundraising committee and designed by the renowned English architect Agassiz Willby Perkin. Despite only half raised 800 pounds at the time, it is said the architect have gained inspiration from the ruin of Alfred Cathedral. The construction began in 1842, but was not continuous. The great famine and lack of available funds meant work was stopped several times. The cathedral was finally completed in 1855 and began regular worship. Separately, the spire and eve was completed in 1907 by the Irish architect Ashton and Coleman of Dublin. In 1972 and 1973, the cathedral underwent a controversial renovation. The interior was both gutted and greatly damaged as well incur a cost of £278,500. The approach by the two architects was nothing short of radical, which resulted in none of the former interior remaining, apart from a few small areas. Next morning, <laughs> it's time to get a fresh start at the Garden of Eve. Well, not quite, some nature. By the way, God's magnificent creation is pretty big. Unless you are a superman, you need a bike. On a bike today to go to the National Park, it costs uh, roughly about 15 euros or so for a bike hire. And uh, by the way, make sure you go and get a Get it from a bike so that I offer free helmets. I have to on the brush so I don't um, do it. And on top of it, the reason I hide from this um, shop is because they offer baskets. So I'm right across from the cathedral, and yes, this is the entrance of the National Park, so let's get going. The Kalani National Park is our first national park in Ireland. The creation began with a donated land to an Irish Free State in 1932 by the Senator Arthur Vincent and his parent-in-law, Mr. and Mrs. William Bauer Burns in the memory of Senator's late wife, Mao. The park has since been substantially expanded, and today it encompasses over 103 square kilometers of diverse ecology, including Lake O'Clanny, Oak, and young woodland of international importance and mountain peaks. Our first stop is a 15th century tower house. So behind me is actually the Roth Castle, home to the McDougals and built uh, in the 15th century. Um, it's actually free to wander outside. I don't mind paying three euros to get inside, but it has to be part of a guided tour. And I just don't have time for that. So still, let's go and take a look what it has to offer. Internally, I'm sure we can find beauties in that. Ross Castle sit on the edge of Clanley's lower lake and came into the hand of Brown, who became an Earl of Camier. The family owns an extensive portion of the land that are now part of Clanley National Park. The legend has it that O'Dougal still exists in a deep somewhere under the water of Long Lake. On the morning of May, every seven years, he raised from the lake to on his magnificent white horse and circle around the lake. Anyone. Catching a glimpse of him is said to assure our good fortune for the rest of their lives. So, make sure to buy some lotteries if you see him. Mm -hmm. 
During the Irish Confederate War, the castle among the lads who surrendered to Oliver Cornwell's Roundhead. The castle is a typical stronghold of Irish chef train built during the Middle Ages. The structure is constructed of stack and mortar stone with thick walls and provide five inner story plus the roof. The tower has a square byzian on the diagonal opposite corner and a thick wall end. Another major attraction within the National Park is Mount Ross Abbey, so let's get going. Actually, uh, let's keep riding and make sure to enjoy the beautiful sceneries. So one mile that way, shouldn't be too much longer. That being said, let's go and take a look. The Mount Ross Abbey was founded in 1448 as a Franciscan monastery in a modern Irish graveyard. In the 17th and the 18th century, it became a burial place for many prominent Kerry County poets. Although the graveyard is in a poor state of repair, but is still used today as an active burial ground. These walls has witnessed many violence in its existence and often subject to raids by the marauding groups and was prosecuted by the infamous coalition forces under Lord Lolao. The structure had been damaged and reconstructed many times. Eventually, the monks of Mitros Abbey were driven out in 1650s by the coalition forces under the order of Queen Elizabeth I. <laughs> Today, the abbey is largely roofless, although apart from this, it is generally well preserved. Mangoras holds a special place, as it is the only one where the upper floor of the two of the three domestic ranges are accessible to visitors, offering more complete experience of the building where the friars worked, ate, and slept 500 years ago. So everyone, please watch your head. Its most striking feature is the central courtyard, which contains a large yarn tree and is surrounded by vaulted clusters. It is what it is. I have to do it. I hope I win a, a Emmy for this. The weather was brutal. <laughs> yes, the rain just kept coming. On the upside, you're able to get a free shower while you're on your bike to the next attraction, killing two birds with one stone. Uh, is this waterfall? Fasting time, I didn't finish ESL, so I'm sure that says waterfall. Fingers crossed. The Tok waterfall is approximately 7 kilometers from Kalani, easy to find and get to. So, no excuse. From the parking, there's a little hike approximately 200 kilometers to the waterfall. <laughs> Just joking. After you park a bike, uh, the, meet, uh, the waterfall is actually 200 meters away, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. The waterfall is approximately 20 meters high and is at its best after heavy rainfall, so I definitely came at the right time. Like other travel shows that tell you how amazing everything is and um, everything's so flawless, but well, not with our show, because as you can see, I wanted to stay longer at the waterfall, but the rain is just pouring and honestly, carrying. $15,000 without video equipment, I think I better not take that risk. 